Hey everyone, so today we're going to be showing the lapidary side of making jewelry. How I turn these pretty little rough gemstones from Montana into jewelry. I'm starting out with a couple pieces of Montana agate, a smoky quartz that I've shaped, a few sapphire, and then that orange thing is a spessor tight garnet, I believe. So I start out by cutting the agate using my tile saw. This is a wet process. And I put that piece of cardboard box there to keep myself from getting completely soaked. As you can see, the tile saw does great for cutting right through agates or little stones. Now, I do have this sped up quite a bit. After that, I use it as a flat lap to shape my gems or pieces of agate a little closer to how I want them. It's not necessarily perfect, but it's a start. See how that garnet's coming along? The smoky quartz. The agate. So the next step is to use these diamond burrs for shaping. I buy these burrs in sets for like 20 bucks at Harbor Freight. Awesome deal. bunch of these diamond wheels and they're like 180 200 grit somewhere around there this allows me to shape the stones into exactly the shape i want them now for the next grits i've made a flat lap using aluminum oxide sandpaper discs and pill bottle lids and a round piece of copper. Although I don't think the copper is absolutely necessary. With these sticky sandpaper discs that are made of aluminum oxide, I just stick them to the pill bottle lid and then cut it out. This gives me a 600 and an 800 grit to do a more sanding to the stones and the difference that step makes is huge i've many times just gone straight from the other disc pretty much to the diamond compound and it's okay but it's not great you can really see the progress being made on these stones i am down a sapphire but that's all right Stones breaking isn't always in your control. Next, diamond compound. This is pretty much oil and diamond. This starts at 5,000 grit. I've got 5,000, 8,000, 14,000, 50, and 100k. And I just put them on these wool discs. Rub it in really good. One of the important things on this is to make sure that you wash your stones and everything between grits. Every time you move up, you need to change the water you're working. If you're dipping, like anything that could get contaminated and bring the coarser grit to the next step up, you want to wash. And that makes this a bit time consuming. Now, I'm doing all of this because in my next installment, I'm going to be taking these gemstones and making jewelry with them. And it's so much more to be able to say I did all of the main stones that are in said jewelry. Those agates turned out amazing. Unfortunately, I lost a sapphire, an agate, and this Bessertine garnet kind of broke on me broke a piece off, I think it's still usable. 
The Smoky Quartz cab didn't come out exactly like I hoped, but that's okay. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed. If you want to watch the next part where I make these into jewelry, please stay tuned, subscribe, hit that bell button. And um, if you've got any questions, comments, please feel free to leave them down below. I hope you all have a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time. Tell that everyone.